to subscribe to the channel for more facts on other animals. Peacocks were suggested by Kate Henry. Thank you for this fantastic request, Kate. Peacock is a bit of a misnomer, but because that's how most people recognize them, we're going to stick with it. But if you want to get technical, the term peacock is specifically in reference to males, while females are called peahens, and babies are called pea chicks. As a whole, they are peafowl, and there are three different species. The most common, and probably the most familiar, is the blue peacock. The other two species are the green peacock and the Congo peacock. The blue peacock is native to India and Sri Lanka, but they have basically been domesticated and live throughout the world as pets. The green peacock ranges in Southeast Asia, from Burma to Indonesia. They're more affected by changes in temperature, and thus aren't as hardy as blue peacocks. They're also considered to be more aggressive than blue peacocks, so they haven't taken off as pets the way blue peacocks have. This is probably for the best though, because green peacocks are endangered due to population declines from habitat loss and overhunting. The third and final peacock species was discovered less than a century ago and lives in Africa in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. They're also listed as vulnerable in the wild and are probably the least well-known of the peacock species. In general, peacocks spend their days in open forests foraging on the ground for food and water and spend their nights roosting in trees. Size-wise, blue and green peacocks are the largest, with males averaging 80 inches in length, including their train, and females averaging 40 inches. Congo peacocks average about 65 inches between both the males and the females. Probably the most identifying feature of a peacock are their feathers. Male green and blue peacocks come in the color of their namesake and have long trains with ocelli, or eye spots. These trains can be more than 50% of their body length, and the males use these feathers for mating and intimidation displays. Some people mistakenly call these the tail feathers, but the train actually covers the tail feathers of male peacocks. Congo peacocks also put on fan displays, but their train plumage is nowhere near as long as their Asian counterparts. Blue peahens are rather drab in color, sticking to grays and tans with limited colorful plumage, but green peahens are just as vibrant as the males. Congo peahens are usually green along their back, with their chest feathers appearing more brown or gray. Only male peacocks have long trains for display, and after breeding season, males will molt their long trains and have to regrow them. There are also white peacocks. This coloration is relatively rare and is not a form of albinism. It's possible for peacocks to be partially white and partially colored as well. While they might look regal, most people consider them rather loud and noisy. Blue peacocks sound something like this, and Congo peacocks sound like this. I kind of like the way they sound. What do you think? Noisy or not, blue peacocks are the national bird of India, so they must be doing something right. Peacocks are typically ready to mate by three years of age, though it should be noted that Congo peacocks have not been thoroughly studied in the wild because of their isolated location and generally shy nature. So new information may show inaccuracies here. A peahen will lay roughly between two to eight eggs in a nest she constructs on the ground and incubates her clutch for just under a month. The pea chicks are able to fly in just a few weeks of hatching, but they'll stick with their parents for as long as until the next breeding season before flying solo. In the wild, peacocks can live to be 20 or older, though they don't usually live as long in captivity. It's thought this is the case because captive peacocks don't have to work as hard finding food, and this may contribute to them developing chronic diseases that present with overeating and lack of exercise, such as gout. Speaking of diets, peacocks eat bamboo shoots, flower petals, grasses, insects, reptiles, amphibians, and worms. In the wild, they're hunted by tigers, jackals, jaguars, and other large predators, like Chester. Peacocks hold significance throughout many cultures, be it for the uses of their feathers in ailing victims of cobra bites, or even just their aesthetic value in fashion and design. They're some of the most well-known birds in the animal.